I'm sure that over the last two weeks you've gone through at least one cereal box. Or Cheez-Its. Not a sponsor. And I'm sure even your parents have finished a couple cases of seltzer. Or you can use any cardboard or thicker paper you have laying around. We're going to use these to make these little cute puppets. Now these puppets can be stick puppets or they can even be used as shadow puppets. And I'm going to show you two methods too. One just using your hands and another using limited tools including scissors and some sort of writing utensil. In this case a crayon. Here we go. So there we have it. Now there's a couple ways to operate these puppets. You can operate them kind of like stick puppets like this. But you can also use them as shadow puppets like this. Here's a close up on how I make the fluffy monster's mouth move. If you remember this flap here, all I do is I fold it up like this so that that flap covers up the hole from the back. Since it blocks the light from going through, it makes it look like the mouth is shut. To open the mouth, all I do is I move my fingers like this. And what that does is, is that slides that little door open, allowing the light to go through. So when it's all done, it looks like this. Hello! Hey there! Another thing that's cool about these puppets is that you can change the scale just by using perspective. If I put this puppet much further back, then it seems like it's a lot smaller. But I can also reverse that if I want to. I can make the dinosaur look teeny tiny and this little fluffy monster look huge. Ma, how the tables have turned! <laughs> ah! <laughs> and here's how you put on a quick shadow puppet show. You just need some sort of lamp. This was a little lamp that I just had on my desk. But you could easily use a flashlight too. And you'll also need a solid color sheet or a piece of fabric. Here's how you do it. I just put up two chairs like that. And I have my lamp right here, ready to shine. And then I just cover these. You wanna to try to get those wrinkles out best you can. Now here's a behind the scenes look. You wanna make sure you are sitting behind the light, otherwise you would be blocking it. You don't wanna block the light. The other tip is you wanna hold these puppets as close to the sheet as possible. It's even okay if they're touching. That'll give you a nice crisp outline. And you operate them just like this. Ah. Well that's it for now. I cannot wait to see the puppets that you guys make. And if you take any pictures or make videos, I would love to see them. Tag me on Instagram or Twitter. Alright, that's it for now. See you next time.